Ladies and good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome once again to In the Streets with Big Stone. As you know, ladies and gentlemen, we're always helping those who cannot help themselves. We're always helping those who don't even have a voice. We're here with Jamal Melville and his mother, Denise Powell. They are from Central Village in St. Catherine. Good evening. Good evening. Little seven-year-old Jamal suffers from cerebral palsy, right? How was it when you found out that you were sick with this dreaded disease? Well, I found out when, before he was one year old. Yes. I realized that he was walking at the time. Okay. So my mom asked me to go and check it out. Mm -hmm. Came to the children, most of them at the mm -hmm. They do a full body scan. And I see this guy, and that is when you find out that you have cerebral palsy, but you have slight, slight cerebral palsy. Right, it does not affect his movements or anything, it does just the deformity of the foot. Yes. I know that he has a lot of problems walking. Yes. How bad has it affected him? Well, it affects him badly because so many times with children and trouble him when coming to but you have the children in Paris being very clear with him and said that. And they have a time, don't have a steady balance. Okay, sometimes he falls. Falls, right. Okay, right. okay. So I've been going to children every year now. Mm -hmm. And January, when I went back to the clinic, then that is when they decide to do the surgery. April, 19th of April. The yeah. surgery is set for the 19th of April this year? Yes. What is the cost to do this? 200,000. 200,000 Jamaican dollars? Yes. Do you have that kind of money? No. Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's why we're here. And um, there's a crowdfunding platform known as Real Helping Hands that I'm going to reach out to to see how best we can garner $200,000 for Jamoy Melville's surgery. Remember, he's only seven years old and he has a future ahead of him. And we really, really need you out there to assist us. Now there's a single parent, ladies and gentlemen. She'll try her best, as you can see. He's well fed, he's not malnourished in any way, shape, or form. So she's done her best as a mother, and she has not given up on her child. She has not given him up for adoption, and she certainly will not give away her child. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm appealing to you. RealHelpingHand.com crowdfunding. We're going to call the necessary people involved and we're going to set up a crowdfunding funding for little seven year old Jamal Melvin. So that you can have a surgery where you can walk again and the kids don't have to tease you anymore. How do you feel when you're at school? and the kids tease you about the way you walk. How does that make you feel? Make you feel joy. How make you feel? Make you feel sad. Feel sad? Make you sad. Make you feel a little sad? Yeah. Wow. And you know, you didn't have anything that causes that. There's no fault of your own, right? You just was born like that. But luckily we have doctors who can fix it so that when you walk, nobody will even know the difference that you have had this dreaded disease, cerebral palsy. We applaud you, Denise, um, and I know the world will applaud you as well for standing in there with your child. What school do you attend at this time? Independent City Primary. Because you're doing the online class now. Okay. COVID. Mm -hmm. yes. He attended Independent City Primary. And he's doing extremely well in school, I guess, right? Yes, sir. Wow. Well, I'm here to help you, man. I'm here to make sure that there are some people out there that love children. There are some people out there that's going to go in their pocket and help you so you can walk again. I want you to look into the camera, Jamal, and say thank you all so very much. Say that. Thank you all so much. 
Sit a little bit lower. Sit a little bit lower. Thank you all so very much. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, you have just heard the plea from a seven-year-old little boy that suffered from the dreaded disease of second policy. When this crowdfunding go up, I'm appealing to all my fine base, appealing to all my friends on Facebook, all my friends on YouTube, and all my friends on Twitter and Instagram. Please, help this little boy so that he can walk well. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. And please go to that profile and support our work. But he got to stay alive. Hi, I'm Joe Formula. We're the artist from Kingston, Jamaica. And I'd like you to go out and support Jamai. Crowdfunding on realhelpinand.com. Thank you.